How many of you ever watched a sports game on television? Well, chances are that's most of you. And chances are you've watched it on ESPN. ESPN stands for Entertainment Sports and Programming Network. And on ESPN's uh, career website, it says that ESPN reached 76% of the population in 2008 without ABC. If you decided to include ABC, it reached 86% of the population. Um, in 2011, over 100 million households have ESPN in their homes. So it's safe to say ESPN affects everybody's life in some way or another. First, I'll tell you about the uh, history of ESPN and followed by the benefits of working at ESPN. So let's take a look at the history. The history of ESPN may not be as long as you think. On Encyclopedia Britannica, it says that ESPN was founded by William Rasmus in 1979 in, in Bristol, Connecticut. And it was originally founded to broadcast hockey games and University of Connecticut sports events. And Britannica also goes on to say that ESPN has been bought and sold many times. He first uh, actually sold it in 1979, the same year he uh, made ESPN, to Gettysburg Oil Company, and that was the same year it was launched on cable. In 1984, it was sold to ABC, and three years later began uh, broadcast NFL sports games. In front of you, FundingUniverse.com says that ABC was acquired by Disney, giving Disney 80% of the um, uh, distributing uh, uh, sports, getting the say what they want, like, and their and in 1983, it began distributing sports events outside the United States. In 1970, they founded a radio station, an internet uh, website, and many more TV stations, uh, magazines, and much more. Now that we look at the history, let's look at the uh, benefits of working at ESPN. On ESPN's career website, it says that um, they have daycare for employees, they have health, wellness, and retirement benefits, so that would be very helpful if you want to work there. And on businessweek.com, they have a global headquarters that span 18 buildings on 123 acres in Bristol, Connecticut, with also a football field inside of the facility. And they employ many different people in many different countries. So one day you could work in America, the next day in Europe, and maybe the next day in Asia. So, in conclusion, ESPN's history is short and full of many important things. The benefits are great and provide incentive to seek employment. So now that you know this, hopefully you know that ESPN does affect your life one way or another. Thank you for your time.